Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a capsule selection series. Today, we're going to talk about the scent of bohemian wealth. When we talk about relaxed money, we talk about real wealth in America. Sometimes we are talking about bohemian wealth, and that is a signifier of really laid back, relaxed individuals who are artistic, well knowledge, but also put forth an essence of being of money and wealth. And that essence to me is coming from the actual accord of patchouli. Patchouli is a scent profile that I fell in love with early in my collecting, and I have many great patchouli fragrances in my collection. And today I want to present to you eight of those fragrances that I think present the actual smell of bohemian wealth. If this sounds like the type of content you think you'll enjoy, pull up a seat, pour a glass, and of course, let's enhance. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Dry Down, the lifestyle channel where we as enthusiasts aspire to enhance and elevate our olfactive sensory experiences through the understanding of the different aromas, faucets, and nuance of scent cigars and wine. I am your host, Chris. Welcome to today's experience. We're going to dive right into this list for you guys. I got a great list of patchouli fragrances that I think represent a dignified individual while still being more of a relaxed bohemian feel. Patchouli to me comes off in a way of heady patchouli. It can be earthy soil-like patchouli. It can be chocolate-like patchouli. And these are all essences that I find grand and great for my individual wearing preference in certain climates and in certain ways and how I come about in my relaxation time. I'm a person who loves to wear relaxed cardigans, relaxed knits, and also um, very much so laid back style of clothing when I am relaxing with my loved ones and just chilling with my boys. So in a lot of times the essence that I like to put on and that feeling is coming from patchouli fragrances. So like I said, I have eight fragrances here and we're gonna first start out with one. I don't wanna call it an honorable mention, but I do want to present it as a great patchouli fragrance from the house of YSL, and that is Tuxedo. Now, the only reason I'm presenting this as an honorable mention is because, as I always say, it's great to have backup flacons to put your scents inside of because I dropped this bottle not too far back and cracked it, and it started to leak, and I was able to preserve this fragrance 50 mils out of the 75, more maybe like 60 because I used 15 mil of it, but that's a great way to keep your fragrances if you crack a bottle from losing the entire fragrance. So YSL, this is one of those head turning patchouli fragrances, truly, truly a, um, a capturing, a just unadulterated sexual, sensual style of patchouli, very laid back in the way it comes across, but also it has an underbed and undertone of a great ambergris, vanilla, and Lily of the Valley scent to it. So this comes off slightly slightly spicy, very, very smooth, sweet, floral, and oriental to me. A great, great scent. Just in tears of having a scent of patchouli that is very, very provocative and sensual, this is one that really turns heads for people. Just this devastating combination of rose, bourbon vanilla, patchouli, ambergris, opens with a violet leaf. Very, 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 very accommodating for the feeling and sensual feel of Bohemian Wealth. Great scent. Like I said, this is just an honorable mention because I cracked the bottle, but this is one that is a top tier patchouli scent. So next up, ladies and gentlemen, what we're gonna start off with in this list, there's nothing here really for me to rank. It's just gonna be really me pulling some of the profiles apart for you, bringing up what it is that I enjoy about them and how they come off. Um, all of these scents are patchouli, just heavy dominant patchouli scents that come off very, very spectacularly. Next up, I'm going to present you guys with the scent of Mansoor by the House of Frederick Maw. So Mansoor is a very earthy patchouli represented with just frankincense, grand opening of mandarin, suede, cedar, musk, patchouli, and a fantastic rum absolute accord. This is what Frederick Maw brought to the to their lineup to kind of put in place of Portrait of a Lady, not knowing that so many men could wear and take Portrait of a Lady as a signature scent for themselves, which I do prominently wear a Portrait of a Lady. But Mansoor, this is their flacon, the 50 mil. This is a great patchouli scent. Has a saffron accord in it. Kind of leathery. You know, the suede accord in this one is not that soft, subtle suede. It's more of a, um, 
I would say if you ever had like a goat suede coat, like one of those really high fashion goat suede coats, it really comes off smelling like those when you open those up brand new. So it's a really luxurious nuance to this particular scent. Earthy, rooty, woody, scent of bohemian wealth, exactly how it should come off patchouli in this one. These are really, really perfect patchouli scents that I think anyone should get their nose on as I point out these scents to you. Especially if you're a person that's trying to discover different um, different ways in which scents come off your skin. So if you're a person that's into oud rose, you're a person that's into aquatics, you're a person that's into um, the high vanilla spices, or even, you know, laid back fragrances that kind of come off the designer realm. These are fragrances that capture your nose and give you a individual full attention to others as well because they come off the way the patchouli sits on the skin and then elevates and rises into the air and gives you a sillage and scent trail it's a really really capturing note and i think everyone who's in the journey of getting into niche fragrances and also designers designers make some great fragrances as i'm going to point out here but right now this is monsoor like I said, earthy, woody, spicy, has a great rum accord, great frankincense of patchouli with a mandarin accord that brings off a very great essence for this particular scent. And next up, so what we have here is a scent by Cartier, designed and formulated by Matilda Laurent. Matilda Laurent is a very, very underrated perfumer. She's made most of the fragrances for the Cartier line, be it female or male, or even their unisex uh, high-end premiere line she made this scent that came out and it wasn't one that was on my radar really it came about from Kevin Samuels mentioning in one of his videos how he just fell in love with it and we know how sometimes you can be influenced by a person that gets these scents out to you and let you know what they're doing for people and for me I was influenced to blind by this and was captured by it I actually had to buy a second bottle I actually gave a bottle of this away to a friend of mine, but this is a great, great, sweet, spicy, woody, oriental, and resinous style of patchouli fragrance that I think any man could get. And it's 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 very resinous and waxy resinous. The patchouli in this comes off very waxy, meaning it's almost like the pure, just essence, pure diluted oils of patchouli leaf with a great amber accord in it it has also a seductive sandalwood accord in this very creamy very smooth this is one of the designer scents that i will rate right now in my collection as in my designer fragrances this is a top 10 designer fragrance for me at this moment very very unique smelling patchouli fragrance it's kind of in the line of the tuxedo fragrance where it's gentleman it's dignified while it also is an excitement and statement piece for your wardrobe and, and signature scent uh, because this one can go into date night but I would also recommend that this sexy scent be worn in a club atmosphere because if it goes into a club atmosphere it really really captures noses because it's a projector great performance type of scent very very sensual and sexy one of the best designers in my collection right now like I said that is Cartier Parfum so next up what we have to present is a signature scent of mine in the fall this is a scent done by John Pegg, who was a, years ago, he's one of the first YouTubers doing this game that no one even knows about really. John Pegg and Katie Puckrick were all great, great people. That tells you how long I've been watching these fragrance reviews and doing this fragrance game, going on this journey with all of you guys and those people that love fragrances. I've been doing this for so long, but watching those guys early, early on, John Pegg was a reviewer and he came up with his own line, Kerosene, and Kerosene makes some of the most authentic smelling fragrances that you can really really artistically enjoy but also take into any room and it won't be off-putting so what i mean by that is that he has fragrances that are not mainstream whatsoever they have very intrusive notes that come out but can be very very enjoyable for everyone and so field of rubus is a scent that is built off of tobacco vanilla musk of course patchouli rubus is patchouli it has a raspberry cord in it, apple and plum, a very, very sensual, sweet, fruity, earthy scent. The, like the particular one in this, 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 it's a green, woody, earthy feeling patchouli with a lot of sweet spices, a lot of sweet fruits. It's one that once you put it on, that first five minutes can be a bit overwhelming to you if you're not used to patchouli. 
but it settles down at about the 10 minute mark and becomes really pleasant, really, really nice, not just pleasant, but really, really nice to wear. This is a two squirt fragrance, two spray fragrance that I don't recommend any more sprays because it can become a bit heady in it as well, which will give you a slight headache if you're not used to patchouli fragrances. But the scent overall is a very, very wonderful patchouli fragrance from Kerosene, and that is Fields of Rubus. Great scent. Next up, what we're gonna to put to you guys is from Juliet Mod, and this is Garuda. Garuda is one of those narcotic, just crazy sensual narcotic styles of patchouli. It is woody, spicy, slightly resinous, very oriental in the way it feels, earthy as well. This is done by Luca Maffei for Juliet Mod. Luca Maffei is one of those very interesting perfumers that if you know about his formulas, he really takes chances, he really puts his fragrances into a artistic mode while also making sure that they smell great for the wearer. He makes it very much so, he's becoming more prominent now. I'm seeing his name pop up a lot more than I used to, but in the first fragrance introduced to me by his hand was this one, Juliet Mod's Garuda. And Garuda is a great, great fragrance when it comes to patchouli. It has a mid of saffron, Cambodian oud and rum, which really peaks his head out in this particular scent and makes it the, the grand scent that it is. Opens with a cumin and pink pepper. Very earthy patchouli, amber. It has a, a, a accord um, by the name of timber silk in this. And this is one of those woody accords that comes off like a broxen. So it really sticks to the skin and makes this, this fragrance push out a lot. Very, very woody from vetiver. Sweet nuances of, uh, a nice sweet nuance of chocolatey patchouli while it be, still being earthy. But he also put a nice dose of vanilla in this particular scent. If you've seen anyone talk about this scent, you will understand that this is one of those fragrances and a fragrance house that gets slept on, but as a sick, I wouldn't say a signature scent, but as a fall fragrance, if you're looking for something to really, really take your game up and want something with some patchouli in it, this is that particular scent that I would recommend as far as having something very, very sensual, very sexy, very alluring, and very, very well made and has a great great scent trail to it and that's Garuda from the house of Julie Mod penned by Luca Maffei great scent very well done next up what we have is a fragrance that I don't think I need to introduce really but of course I want to because it is one of my favorite patchoulis in my collection and this is Perfume de Marley Carlisle Carlisle as you all know this is the some people say they smell latent in it. I get it just a tad bit, but not much. I don't, I get the PDM signature profile of it. Not so much the latent profile, but the PDM signature profile. But this scent here, this is my winter brunch fragrance. I really, really particularly love the way that this scent comes off in midday because it very much so has all of the notes. It's slightly light while still being heavy. It's really a, a a nuance to this fragrance that is peculiar the way that they made it very very inviting for an opening of apple nutmeg and saffron slightly leathery saffron it has divana the thing about this particular fragrance that makes me enjoy it the most is the mid accord of osmanthus osmanthus bring this slightly tropical floral nuance to it while connecting connecting with the tonka bean and rose in the mid it very much so at a 15, 20 minute mark throughout a good two hour mark makes this one of the most sexy fragrances that you can take with yourself out to a brunch, a date night. Now, don't get me wrong, this is not just a brunch scent. This is a head, just a banger of a fragrance. This is one of those scents that I think that anyone, even if you're not into patchouli, if you want a very great signature style of fragrance that can be presentable to anyone in evening elegance, be it date night, be it um, leisure wear. This is a great, great fragrance that comes across excellent. It has a pop an overwhelming dose of sexy patchouli that is slightly resinous and earthy. And of course, a hefty dose of vanilla to go along with that, making Carlisle one of the best, not only patchouli fragrances, but one of the top 25 fragrances voted by many people on things like Fragrantica and Parfumo.net. So get your nose on that one if you have not. That's Carlisle by Parfums de Marley. Great scent as well. Next up, so as we narrow down and get to the bottom of this list, these are the scents that really, really captured me 
when it comes to the actual scent of patchouli and what it can do and what really makes it sensual, really makes it feel of bohemian wealth, really makes it feel of upscale elegance while also being just laid back, not something that's pretentious, not something that's overwhelming and stuffy, but something very, very unique and very, very inviting. So next up, what we have is Coromandel by the House of Chanel. Coromandel is penned by Jacques Poge and Christopher Sheldrake. And these are two wonderful perfumers who have worked great with the House of Chanel on many different fragrances. And this one is not a slouch in any means. I'm sure many of you have heard of Coromandel. Coromandel is a earthy, sweet, woody, and spicy fragrance. It has resonance touches while also having a nice heart of orris root and jasmine wrapping itself around a rose and patchouli accord that is the enveloping part of this particular scent that makes it such a grand fragrance. And this one for me, the nuances that come off of this one is the patchouli rose and the patchouli here carries the essence of a cacao some people say it smells of white chocolate or it may have white chocolate in the notes. I've not confirmed that. I've never seen it as white chocolate in the notes, but you can get what they're talking about when it comes to a really creamy, smooth, elegant leaning, but also laid back professional style of scent in Coromandel. Very, very, this is spicy. And that's what makes it a redeeming quality for the masculine people. Um, masculine you know, men were very, can be, Put off for certain fragrances but this one really has a redeeming quality of high high spice content bitter orange citrus you know slight neroli in the top this one is one of my favorite smelling fragrances of all time it really really captures you when you smell it in the air it smells very very wealthy very luxurious and it's a great scent overall that is chanel's coromandel and so last but not least in this list this is a fragrance done by Jacques Flory for the house of Zerzhov. And usually Zerzhov goes straight to Chris Maurice. And in this particular perfume, they went to a different nose and he did a spectacular job on the scent. This is, understanding this particular fragrance, for me, it's, it's not self-explanatory how much I enjoy this particular scent. This is my second bottle of Rich Wood. This is a woody, spicy patchouli, more in the line of the previous mentioned Coromandel. But this one here, this is one that, this particular fragrance is one that's like the prose of life that is punctuated by moments that make you remember fragrances for a lifetime. For me, this comes forth with a harmonizing blend of intense patchouli, intense rose, geranium leaf, and sandalwood. So, so sensual. It's a late night encounter type of scent. It draws you into a deep, deep emotional feeling when you wear this particular scent. It's one that's very, very captivating for female noses to smell on masculine skin. I've been told that many times. Rich Wood by the House of Zerjoff is part of the Stone Collection, 1717. And this is a fragrance that in a lot of ways cannot be beat when it comes to using the narcotic note of patchouli to produce a sensory, like a, a great sensory dance of crazy proportions that just drive your senses insane. It's one that you can feel, it's one that you can see in the air, it's one that you of course can smell and just become a part of it. This here is one of those journey fragrances for yourself that when you you put it in your, your nose and then you smell it, you understand some of the, the elevated essence of how different notes, different perfumers can use different notes to become so grand. And for me, Richwood is the preeminent patchouli scent in my collection. And I hope that you guys can get a scent um, sample of this one to make sure that you have, at least in your journey, experience what it is that 1770 Richwood is. Very, very spicy, sweet, fruity, slightly floral, very woody, super woody sandalwood, super woody patchouli rose and that cacao feel with a slight mandarin in it. They've done so well with this because it has the mandarin touch from Zerzhov. It has the opening of bergamot grapefruit from um, Zerzhov. It's so luxurious, so just uplifting and filling. It has a black currant accord or note that is pungent yet inviting. Everything about this particular scent screams, yells, and hollers bohemian wealth. That is 1717 
Richwood by the House of Zerzhov, the Stone Collection. Great scent, man. My favorite patchouli of all time. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is my content for you guys today. As always, I hope that if you found something educational or entertaining, that you just hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and share this video to let others know that we're here to dry down or creating a family. We have great conversations, great content, and great comments. Come along for the ride. Until next time, I will see you then. Peace.